play different. Greetings fellow Mac addicts, in this video we're looking at Centaurian. I've made a video about this game before, but decided to revisit it as the creator, David Dobson, who is most well known for Snood, contacted me and answered a few questions for me. If you missed the first video, I'll link to it below, but to sum it up, Centaurian is a clone of the 1981 Namco game Bosconian, but one different enough to make it stand out on its own. In fact, I may even prefer it over the original arcade game, though I do have a lot of affection for both. As for why Dobson chose to clone Bosconian of all things, a game which is not as well remembered as most Namco classics, it's because it was a childhood favourite. He says it had strategic complexity that other games at the time lacked, and he loved cruising around the big maps in his ship. Like most people who cloned arcade games back in the day, he had to recreate it from memory, as emulation was not yet a thing. He did eventually buy a Bosconian machine years later, though sadly the ROM has since fried. As mentioned, Centaurian isn't a straight clone, and adds things like bonus levels, a shop, and a few gameplay tweaks. The reason for this is that Dobson wanted the game to be more complex. Arcade games are designed to be over quickly, and that doesn't have to be the case for home versions, so he figured it would be more fun to add a little plot and extra strategy. So the power-ups, shop, money, and the ability to pick which level to go to allowed people to play longer and make some meaningful choices. He was also inspired by Ambrosia Software, who famously took old arcade games and spruced them up for the home market, with various features which often added a little more depth. Speaking of cloning, Dobson also included clones of other games in Centaurian. He liked the idea of bonus levels, and with Centaurian was having fun reliving childhood arcade games, so he decided to model all the bonus levels of classic titles. The first one he made was a Space Invaders clone, which made sense as it was a sci-fi title, though he admits that the Donkey Kong level was a bit more of a stretch. He also notes that the final battle with Moser is modelled after the game Sinistar. The only game Dobson released before Centaurian was a Minesweeper clone for PC called Bombs Away. He released it on Usenet, and it got a little attention, but no one registered it. Centaurian did pretty well, and then, of course, Snood wildly took off. He has worked on many other projects since, but I'll talk more about them in a future Snood video. One thing I didn't mention in my Centaurian video was that I was playing the limited shareware version, because the full version had not been preserved. Dobson was very kind enough to locate and recompile his old registration software, and has released a key so the full game can now be enjoyed by all. If you're a fan of Bosconian, or 80s arcade games in general, I definitely recommend giving it a try. So yes, now we know the full story of Centaurian. Thank you for watching.